happy Easter, happy Sunday, whatever day it is for you that you're watching this right now. It is Brian's birthday and clearly we're all in quarantine right now. We're locked up in Austin, Texas. Um, so we are gonna try to make the best of his birthday and do the things that we can do while still locked down. So we're gonna bring you along for that. Welcome to birthday vlog edition of the vlog. Uh, we're here at Granny's Tacos. That is the best taco place in Austin, Texas. Questionably the world. Favorite place. It is. If you, if you ever had breakfast tacos before, you've never had actual breakfast tacos because those are only here. Granny's. Um, locally owned, family owned. Yeah, literally the best place to get tacos ever. It is the famous Granny's. Best da, 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 da. tacos ever. Look at this. Look at that full avocado slice Yum. in there. Oh my god, you see that? Yum. Hey dude. Scrappy really likes his ice cubes for some reason. So if we give him an ice cube, he'll just sit here and just chomp on it for a while. But we just got done eating Granny's. Guys, I cannot explain to you how good Granny's Tacos is. Like, if you're in Austin and you want to try some breakfast food, or even lunch, because it's tacos, Go to Granny's Tacos, try it out. Family run, family owned. They taste amazing. They're super nice. We know them pretty well. Uh, yeah, go try them out. So because of everything going on, all of my shipping has been delayed um, for birthday gifts, but one came in and it was already in a box. So because I couldn't go get anything to wrap it, I just wrote all over it. And I think it's gonna be present time. Thank you. Hey. I, I hit, I got a notification, so I tapped it, and then just nothing happened. And then I called you back, and you didn't pick up. Hi, Brian. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> and then, because we love you, and then because you're the best son ever. What is that? <laughs> wait, wait. Emily and I all made you cry, so this one is from Caitlin. You did it. You made it another year. A plus. I'm proud of you. Both for making it another year and for all the other things you do. <laughs> do you want to go on a walk? <laughs> do you want to go on a walk? <laughs> <laughs> you walk like a bunny, you missed it. There's Gotta go on a walk? <laughs> we just got done on the phone with my family. They called to say happy birthday, did a, a video call, and they opened my presents for me and stuff over the call, so that was cool to see all of them. And they made you random. They, yeah, <laughs> my mom had a trophy with the word sun taped onto it. I don't know, I love them. That was awesome. So now we're gonna go walk to get some coffee, spend some time outside, um, and then we'll see where we go from there. But this dude just needs to go, man. Yeah, he is ready. All right, let's do it. Oh my gosh, it's spraying so hard. We just took the absolute longest way to get to this coffee shop. We walk here a lot, but we definitely like tried, tried to take to a take detour. A, yeah, a different route and did not work. We made it more work for ourselves. Scrappy is of course loving it. He's just kind of trotting along, doing his thing. Tiny window now open. So Change of plans. Our mind. We were literally at the, the like order window for coffee, and then we were like. I looked across the street and saw smoothies, and it's hot, and we've been walking, and it sounded so flipping good. So we ran across the street and we're at Juice Land. Juice Land. And an upside down table. So today looks like we've probably gone like two miles. Been walking around for like 45 minutes because you know we waited for our smoothies and all that. Scrappy's definitely slowing down. <laughs> He's reached <clears> his <throat> limit. His little legs. <laughs> but this is this is kind of how every day's been. It's been really nice. It's been 70s and 80s every day. So getting outside and walking has been very easy. Discovering new spots, some really cute houses on the east side. We're kind of taking like every back street we can just to kind of experience the cool neighborhoods because we found a lot more cool places doing this than taking the main streets. So if you're ever in Austin, try to take the back streets. You can see some cool houses. It's been fun. Okay, so it's time for me and Scrappo to chill. We're just gonna hang out for a little bit, right? So it's time for me and Scrappo to chill. Brian is gonna be doing what he does every day. Oh my 
Haley just freaking scared the life out of me. It's his gaming time. What are you doing, Els? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> are you bored now? No. I'm just chilling. He's gonna be gaming probably for a while. And then, um, yeah, we might do like some more birthday things. Get some food. Yeah, get some early, early dinner and maybe watch a movie tonight. Make some popcorn or something. A few minutes later. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Jimmy John's to get some food, but check this out. Oh wait, I closed my phone. So backstory, Brian always gets Jimmy John's on his birthday. I said, what do you want? I will get you anything, Jimmy John's. And look, I have a free a free sub and a free drink. They give you a free sub for your birthday, apparently. I didn't know that was a thing. How cool. So I already told Brian about this surprise, but my boss is letting us use the coffee shop. It's already closed, so we're able to go in there and just like have a nice dinner and kind of feel like we went out for dinner, um, even though the shop will be closed. It's just like somewhere else to go and a little change of scenery and a cute little date night. Um, I did not dress for the occasion, but. I mean, <laughs> I have a tank top and shorts on. But it'll be great. Change of plans. All of the Jimmy John's near us are closed, um, I think because it's Easter Sunday. So we decided to get some burgers from Hop Daddy, which is also a fan fave of ours. And yeah, we're headed there now. We here. Let's get some food. Got our burgers, and now it's time to set the scene. Okay, so we're in the coffee shop. We're posted up at this window. Got the burgers. So this is Hop Dotty. If y'all have never had Hop Dotties before, it's like a really nice. I would say more premium. They also have the Impossible Burger. Yes. So. We both got the classic, so it's just their you know, basic burger. Um, that's where it's at. So we are gonna have dinner in this coffee shop by ourselves. There's absolutely nobody here besides us. Happy birthday! Thank you. This is cool. All right, Brian, barista in training. He's gonna work his magic. So you get the grounds, and then you twist this thing. Then, you clear the, the wand. Make sure it's not pushed towards you. Push it in all the way. There you go. Is that good? Uh-huh. <laughs> Cut that part. It's called purging. And then, yes, yeah, so you're gonna purge the wand. Then, you push this little thing to get the espresso pouring. Then you steam the milk. Rolling. That is not going to be too pretty. Let me do something really quick. Did I mess it up? It's really, really frothy. There you go. Now you might be able to do something Mites. with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then. Spoon. You spoon it. <laughs> I need to clean that too. Until it's fully spooned. <laughs> After it's fully spooned, you'll know because the color. You start pouring here, okay? And you're going to want to go in a, a circular motion to kind of get your base going, okay? You want a nice, consistent base color. Now, you're going to get closer to the cup, and you're going to start up here. Looks good. Okay. And then you go back and forth. You need more of like a wiggle with the wrist. There you go. And then through. Look at that. <laughs> <clears throat> I call this the um, turnip brightened it and everything looks so much better. Oh well, that's my camera skills. Brian's the camera, the cameraman. I gotta clean that, and I gotta clean that. <laughs> burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it. This is the aftermath of our eating endeavors. I gotta clean this up. We're taking some fries home, taking a coffee home, gotta throw that stuff away, not in Fire here. This bag away from the shop. Oh yeah, we're getting some champagne. champagne for tonight. <laughs> I don't even know if that was right. 
somebody probably actually knows how to play this, and they're like, you guys are idiots. I just added to it. That was called Beautiful. background noise. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to me. I'm clapping. I only have one hand. There you go. Okay. All right, so Brian's filling up on gas right now, but I would say so far it's been a successful birthday. We've packed a lot of stuff into it. Um, Late last night, we were on Zoom with our friends, so we all got to wish Brian a happy birthday right at midnight, and it was really cool to get to see all of them. So, so far, I think it's a success, and we're gonna head back home. We've got the champagne, watch a movie, whatever Brian wants to watch, and hang out. I'm kind of exhausted from today. Okay, we're trying to do this before the camera dies. We already shot the last uh, clip for the night, but we're like gonna put this in before that. We're trying to have some champagne. Got, champagne? Got, it's not a pop to open. What is it? It's a twist. No, it's a pop. It's it's a twist. Please don't explode. Did you? I can hear it. Oh gosh, I remembered it being poppable. All right, the camera's about to die, and we're just chilling here for the night. Happy birthday, Brian! Thanks for thanks for checking out our birthday quarantine vloggy vlog, <laughs> and let us know in the comments what time. you want to see. On the next vloggy vlogs. Okay, I don't I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want you to say that anymore. Peace.